seven o'clock in the morning on the outskirts of Cairns and we're at Lake Placid which is at the bottom of the Barren Gorge and Barren Falls which we will head up shortly up in the range and have a look at that <clears throat> being so close to Cairns I tell you what it makes you jealous it'd be great to be able to have this sort of backdrop in your backyard backyard beats the hell out of uh, another city suburb Now that we've just checked out the Barren Gorge, we're going to head up and have a look at the falls. So we're doing the Barren Falls Rainforest Canopy Walk right now. We've got a couple of lookouts in mind. One that overlooks the Barren Falls and then the second one that overlooks the train station. Come on, let's go. It's all downhill from here, literally. <laughs> God, this way, wait, wait, I think I hear a train coming. Ah. It's a land cruiser. <laughs> so this is what we came to see, the Barren Falls lookout. Enjoy. Today we're leaving the coast and heading west into Andara, Andara National Park and the Andara Lava Tubes. Cairns was all right, but it, as the name suggests, it is smack in the middle of the wet tropics and last night it was definitely wet. So when we packed up this morning, we had all the swags dripping with wet, dripping with rain had to roll them up wet, which means by the time we pull up this afternoon, all that bedding will be wet as well. One of the reasons why we're making a bit of a dash now out to Andara is to be able to set that 
set up camp and let it all dry out before we have to jump in bed tonight. <clears throat> Seems like we're not the only ones heading west at the moment. I've got about a kilometre of back-to-back -back traffic in front of me. Not quite sure what's going on. Maybe we've got a wide load moving at about 20 kilometres an hour in, in front of us or something. But we followed, we followed the Barren River from Lake Placid up to Barren Gorge and then right up the top to near Karamba where the Barren Falls are. Went for a bit of a burl around Karanda and the Barren Falls. Took a little bit of footage and photos and then back into Karanda. The, um, me and Mum went up to Karanda about 25 years ago and back then they had all these little markets, really nice little markets, not quite sure why we don't have more cool little markets like them, a bit like the Yamundi markets if you, you guys are from down south. Um, full of, back then it was full of hippies selling their little hippie trinkets and burning incense and really quite nice to walk around and have a look see. The, the only thing that's really changed in those 25 years is, is those 30 year old hippies that were all selling their trinkets back then and now 60 year old hippies selling their trinkets. So if you're from Mareeba Shire Council and that's an aspect of the tourism that you want to keep going, then you need to start getting your succession planning worked out because uh, it looks like in the next 10 to 15 years all those 60 year old hippies are going to start to retire and disappear and leave your markets empty and without anybody working in there. So it's probably about time you start attracting some, uh, you know, millennial hippies and, and the like to take the place of all of those 70 year old hippies or 60 year old hippies who will be on their way out soon. And then everybody can still continue and enjoy the Karanda markets as, as we have before. As we're driving along here, there's a lot of vehicles passing us going the opposite direction. Obviously being out west, they're covered head to toe in dust. Something to look forward to when we get out there. Before we get out to Andara, we're going to stop by Atherton. From Andara, it's a couple more days out to Winton. A couple more days, not a couple more days drive, but certainly a couple more days for us before we get out to Winton. So we're going to stop and get a few supplies at Atherton. Hopefully we can get some of that good Atherton table and beef because it's been it's been a few days since we had a good hearty meal and I am looking forward to a nice hot spicy curry. As we've been travelling up the coast from Brisbane, Calliope, Cape Hillsborough, Townsville, Mission Beach to Cairns, we haven't been able to have any fires. We've been staying at caravan parks all the way. We could, probably could have thought about that a bit better. Certainly Tully was... Um, Tully Gorge would have been a nice place to stay out there, but we have been working, so we needed all the Wi-Fi and power and everything as we went, and probably don't have enough power in the vehicle to um, to run all the camera equipment and multiple laptops that we've had going. But one of the consequences of that is that we've been pretty slack on food eating more takeaways than we've ever eaten in 
in the last six months. A few fish and chips pizzas last night. I knew those pizzas were pretty good. Thanks, Tony. And then, um, and yeah, even even had to sacrifice in a uh, a McDonald's or two. We'll keep going now. Supplies in Atherton, and then on to Andara, so we can dry out. And there is a crater out there, which I want to be there for sunset which I'm sure we will, well, I'm not sure we will be, but we should be, assuming whatever it is that's causing this traffic incident pulls off the road instead of continues to proceed along it at 20 kilometres an hour. Slow down, slow down, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, Skippy's trying to tell me something. Was that Skippy? He's falling down the wheel. Oh no, Gary has. Quick, go get help. So we've made it to camp and now it's time to set up the uh, washing lines to dry everything because we got rained on in cans last night. Skippy's come to watch. It's fine. Skippy, this is how it's done. Couple of ratchet straps from Bunnings. Don't worry. Nope. Like Michael's not going to help. He's busy. What's he doing? He's flying his drone around in circles while I hang out all of the wet bedding. Thanks for your help, babe. Cheers. Alright, wifely duty's done and dusted and out of the way. Washing is hung up to dry while we go and check out the Kilani Crater Lookout. see another kangaroo just in front of us. Hang on, I'm going to try and get some footage. I think he's stalking us. Just remember, if you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button, the like button and notification bell to find out when we put out our new footage. Enjoy!